And now the last case, the art of murder. Oh, Angela. Hello. Well, that guy's gone. I mean, the, not the guy, that lady's gone. Um, he's in the previous cases. He's definitely in the previous cases. These two might be new. Anyway, let's hear the story. Jessica Fletcher knew that something was wrong as soon as the elevator doors opened. Ding! There was no one at the reception desk, and the chairs beside the desk were empty. <gasps> she walked straight oh, through the tall service. glass doors marked Edward J. Osborne Industries and directly into the office labeled Chairman of the Board. A man she did not know was sitting on the desk, leafing through papers. <gasps> she appraised him in a second, the well-worn suit, the tired expression, the air of authority. He was a police detective. My new boyfriend. Excuse me. Where is everyone? They're being interrogated down on the 98th floor. The 98th hey, floor? You? Down? Has something happened to Mr. Osborne? Good Lord, He's how high is this building? Just want to ask him if he knows the victim. You a reporter? Victim? <gasps> Has someone been hurt? Someone's dead. Wow. An attractive young woman who works as an artist for the ad agency downstairs. Ew, uh. She was found lying under her art table this morning. Looks like murder. <laughs> Say, that's who you are. You're, You're murder. Jessica Fletcher, the mystery murder writer. What are you doing, some research? Not at all. I came here to meet Ed Osborne for lunch. He's an old friend of mine. May I go down and see him now? I sure. guess so. It won't hurt the investigation. Who knows? Maybe you can help out. Yeah. Go down to the 98th floor. We must be on 155. He escorted her to the 98th floor. The small advertising agency on the 98th floor 98th was filled floor. with detectives standing in a circle around three people. It must be the highest One, building in the world. A young man in a leather jacket was sitting, sobbing quietly into a handkerchief. A second man, wearing a sweatshirt, stood by visibly shaken. The third was an older gentleman who nodded to Jessica Fletcher as she entered the room. I did it. Jessica walked over to the older man and took his hand. Ed, how are you involved in all of this? I did it. I think I'm a suspect, Jess. <laughs> you know about these things. What, what should I do? You shouldn't kill someone. Now, Ed... Just tell the truth, and I'm sure everything will be all right. All right, I Listen did it. Listen to her, Osborne. It's good advice. Tell us how you know Barbara Monk. Well, I first met Barbara in an elevator. My office is on the 101st floor, and she, of I'm course, worked first. on the 98th. It was a long ride up, so we often talked. I found out that she was uh, an artist in this agency. One day we had lunch together, and she spoke of how she and her partner had won several awards in advertising. You're still such a bad That's actor. That's her partner over there. Osborne pointed to the man in the sweatshirt, Barry Barlow. Barlow did the copy, and Barbara did the artwork. She convinced me to hire them to do my company's advertising. They were working on this... Uh, new advertising for my new product of rust buster bust proofing spray oh you I told them that i had to have the work done by 8 a.m this morning i left about 8 p.m and arrived home at 9 my wife can attest to that i when married. i arrived this morning to pick up the work well i found her dead <gasps> you work on Liar. this game don't you you killed her <gasps> you wealthy americans are all alike you think you can own anything you want. Oh, I'm trying a British accent this time. Why don't you tell us what really happened between you and Barbara? She had an affair with you. You oh. to keep her as your full-time mistress. Who you even offered to keep her in a cozy little cottage nearby. Barbara wasn't like that. She had brains. She had independence. That's how she, she became the nanny. She loved. Well, it's obvious to me what happened here this morning. Barbara told you you couldn't treat her like a little tart for hire. <laughs> that made you mad enough to kill her. And I banged her. I mean, um... For a moment, it looked as if the two men would come to blows. 
Then Jessica stepped between them. Is any of that true, Ed? Yes. Barbara and I were in love. <laughs> Jess, I know it seems strange. I was nearly 25 years older than her. And we're together, too. But we had something special. Something that my marriage was missing all these years. I told her that I would leave my wife for her, but she said but she then I told had you to the go same, away so. and think things through and left on a vacation for England. Where? A few days later, she called and said she had met someone in a museum in London. This guy? He Maybe? glared over Jessica's shoulder at the man in the leather jacket. She said he was a young painter named Samuel Reed, and she now regretted giving in to temptation to having that one last fling you before were. settling down with me. <laughs> Mr. Reed, could you explain your relationship Mystery! with Mr. Monk? Love at first sight. I told her Sorry. to go back to the States for a few weeks Mystery. to settle her affairs and that I would come here when she was ready and, and take her back to England to live with me. In my bungalow. And when exactly my did you lives arrive in the main here, house. Mr. Reed? I flew in very late last night and decided to catch up on my sleep at the airport motel before <laughs> motoring here. Wow, you're but rich money bags, aren't you? fine gentleman from the police department arrived at my motel before I could rent a car. Yeah. Jessica Fletcher shot a quizzical glance at the detective. That's right. We did a check of the phone records and found a call was made to this room from the airport motel. So we drove over to check it out and found Mr. Reed. Again, that was really quick. You found Mr. Reed! Barry Barlow spoke up for the first time. Wait, now I get it. This is I'm what Barbara Nick. told me about. She had a brief encounter with him, which meant nothing to her. <laughs> For him, it became an obsession. Well, it's perfectly clear what happened here last night. Reed shows up in town and calls her without any kind of a warning. He tells her how much he loves her, and she freaks out. She probably told him to get lost and to leave her alone. I am so reading from a car. Evening, all worked up. They argue, and he kills her. <sighs> I'm Why, seeing her, too. that little worm? Barbara told me all about you. She did the copywriting as well as the artwork on all of your most successful campaigns. You did nothing to deserve the accolades, but Barbara allowed you to share her awards with her. Ah. She was loyal and too sentimental about you because you were college sweethearts. But... But... That's right. I finally managed to convince her that business is business. She was going to kick you out and start an agency by herself. That would have ruined your career, and that's why you killed her. <gasps> why, you dirty son of a... <gasps> you no good, bum. <clears throat> Shut up, you crazy Americans. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. We don't need any shouting. I think I can get to the bottom of this. One look around this room tells me what happened here last night. Barbara Monk was murdered by you. Who was Jessica Fletcher pointing at as the murderer? And what tipped her off? She was pointing at the detective. Assemble the jigsaw puzzle, then reread the story. Can you deduce what happened to Barbara Monk last night? Barbara Monk. All right. Um, let's have a quick look at the text. Eric S. Wise. He's done it again. Again, 98th floor. Like, seriously, like, the, the tallest building I've ever been in was, like, 75 floors. Maybe it was 78. But, you know, that's, like, one of the highest buildings in Melbourne. And it's... I... <laughs> So unless, like, <laughs> this is taking place in, like, the highest building in the world, that's just a really high <laughs> thing to be like, oh, let's go down, you know, down on 98th floor. You'd say, like, up on the 98th floor. You'd think that would be, like, the top. Anyway, quick little bit whiz through. I think I'm a suspect. Ugh. Yes, Barbara and I were in love. Really. All right, puzzle time. Excitement. 
Oh, God, look at the color scheme on this. All right, time to time lapse. boy <sighs> okay let's see well uh, interesting Barbara has a post-it note with her own name on it mm-hmm call Ed re Benny Benny shot to six beauty shot to six And we've got a protractor, we've got a ruler, we've got little shapey things, looks like pantones. Uh, action shot five, beauty shot six, another ruler, protract. well, it's a compass, some fine liners, more rulers, deadline 8 a.m., Ed to pick up six panels. So we've got car on two. Close it on car, overhead same car, car at car station, action hot spray for Rust Buster. We sell Rust Buster. And then Rust Buster, signed by Barbara. I'm not seeing any clues here. Ah, ah, actually I am, because look, this Barbara has the extra A in it. A-R-A, -A, while this one up here is missing an A. It just says Barbara. 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 Bob. Um, although I have no idea who could have done it. So I'm gonna go solve. Ooh, uh, but I'm also gonna go check. No, no, not the help file. Oh. So I don't, I don't get to check the... Oh, okay, fine. Um, I'm gonna go with this guy just because he was like, he's already been the murderer twice. You're wrong. No! That person is not the murderer. How about I go with the creepy one? Ooh, I. Oh, whoops. 
It appears, Mr. Samuel Reed, that you won't be using your return ticket to England. Ooh. It's quite obvious to me that you killed Barbara Muck last <gasps> night. Barbara Muck only Monk. finished the first two panels of artwork Monk. in this storyboard before you killed her. The last four were drawn by you, Mr. Reed. Who were? Uh. You read this note on her memo pad. Deadline, 8 a.m. Ed to pick up all six panels. You tried to make it appear that Barbara was alive and working throughout the night so that when Ed arrived at 8 a.m., he would look like the guilty party. That's a lot of work to put However, into it. However, you made several slip-ups, <gasps> which I'd be only too glad to point out. Please do. First, you misspelled Barbara's name. Yep. See here on the memo pad, she has spelled her name B-A-R-B-R-A. Here, however, on the storyboard, the name is spelled B-A-R-B-A-R-A. -A -A. Yeah, okay. You further gave away your identity by unwittingly dropping clues all over the drawings that would only come from someone born and bred in England. Notice that in the first two panels, the car is traveling on the right side of the street. Uh, but in panel three, it has suddenly flipped to the left side. Which is right the in rule Australia. Of the road in England. Also, in the same manner, note in panel four, the steering wheel is on the right side. Which I didn't notice because and that's how that I drive my enough, car. See here in panel four, the sign reads Petro over the gas Petrol, station. Petrol, yeah. Well, unless they are selling pet rocks at the station, oh, yeah, you I believe gas. the finished sign would have read Petrol, what we here in America commonly refer to as gasoline. Bleh. Lieutenant, arrest Mr. Reed for the murder of Barbara Monk. I'm sorry, it's just I didn't notice any of that because it doesn't seem weird to me. But, uh, it makes sense. Well, once she returns me back to my previous scene, we're just gonna go and, um, check out the, uh, credits. I want to see who exactly who to blame for these horrible, horrible acting. Okay. Go back. Uh, is there credits somewhere? Contents. Oh, graphics. Not what I was looking for. Contents. I want to see the credits. There must be a credits. Come on. Yep. Spell that correctly, but of course my keyboard is hidden underneath my desk. No, no credits. But I want to know, I need to know who is in this game. Who? Who do I blame? Alright, let's try exit. That's probably not going to help me. <laughs> I need a no. Actually, let's try and uh, run the uh, credits again. Ding. Would not be surprised if that guy who apparently worked on it. Mr. Centron. Well, not Mr. Centron, but you know who I mean. Yay! The real Angela Lansbury. Hello! Yeah, I would not be surprised if, you know, who are the actors? Ah, here we go. Well, one of those people was definitely someone who worked on it. But, um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna end it here and, uh, <laughs> hopefully never find another game by this company of a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> Although, who knows. Um, maybe at some point I'll do the, uh, the hidden object versions of Murder, She Wrote, but, um, otherwise we're just gonna leave it here. Bye-bye.